Stephen. Thank you, Tracy. <laughs> Happy birthday, Wayne. You, you look good for 100 years old. What a fabulous, fabulous year it's going to be for the art gallery. I'm bringing to Canada, I'm bringing to the WAG 100 masterworks from across the country, from Rembrandt to Picasso to Van Gogh to Warhol. Best, the best art in the country. How did you manage to get all those art galleries to come on board? Well, I woke up one morning and said, you know, if you're having a 100th birthday party, you can ask for special things that you couldn't normally get. And 25 museums from St. John's to Victoria have said yes. And I guess it's going to be really the crowning glory for the whole celebration year. I think so. All the years are fabulous, but to bring that show to the WAG in May next year, uh, we're very proud of that opportunity. Uh, well, congratulations, sir. Here's a look at some of the other celebrations and special exhibitions that you'll see for their 100th birthday. It's called Winnipeg Now, and it is a collection of artists, uh, a group of artists selected by a national committee. Uh, all of the artists call Winnipeg home. They're not all resident in Winnipeg now, but they would certainly identify Winnipeg as their home, uh, their base, their, the source of their inspiration and, and uh, the place where they uh, have drawn their art from. Robert, what can people expect with Winnipeg now? Well, the, the, the usual kind of thing that Winnipeg in the arts gives people and that is an extraordinary diversity of different kinds of art forms that represent everything from sort of cultural things, Icelandic, uh, Franco-Manitoban, queer cultures involved in it. There's going to be performance, there's film, uh, there's Guy Madden's extraordinary film project that will be live streamed into the gallery. So it's a, it's a characteristically wide range of things that I think will be very exciting and is a shift from what Winnipeg art used to look like. There's not so many wall pieces there's a lot of sort of installations and and rooms are being built for this exhibition so there'll be a movie theater where you can sit down and watch Marcel Zama's crazy film about chess pieces and and dancers the wag century is the exhibition it's happening in the mezzanine and it's all about the history of the Winnipeg Art Gallery told through works of art photographs and archives and it's basically going to try to piece together the history that goes back all the way to 1912 uh, to the present day it's sort of the linchpin in a way it's a small exhibition but it tells the, the entire story of the Winnipeg Art Gallery, something that really hasn't been done in an exhibition before. So it uh, kind of sets things off, sets the, sets the, the celebrations off. It's called uh, Creation and Transformation, Defining Moments in Inuit Art. And it is a, a history of contemporary Inuit art from about 1949 to the present day. I think it's the first time that there's actually been a history of contemporary Inuit art um, uh, put together. And uh, I've done a, a decade by decade uh, analysis of all the exciting developments that have happened in Inuit art. So uh, it's really exciting to just put that out there for the first time.